Hello everyone! Welcome back to our simple automation tutorials with Selenium in Java. Today we will be diving into browser options specifically for Google Chrome browser. We'll cover various functionalities such as resizing browser windows, running the browser in headless and incognito models, opening the browser in a specific language and exploring additional feature. Let's get started. To make it more organized and easier for you to follow along, we will create separate Java classes for each topic. In the previous lecture, we already created a class called Open Browsers Test. Now let's duplicate it. To do this, right-click on the name of the class, Open Browser Test, and in the menu find the Copy option. Afterward, Right-click on the name of the Java folder and select the Paste option from the main menu. The Copy Class dialog will appear, where you need to provide a name for the new class. Let's name it Browser Option Test. Once you click the OK button, the new class will be added. In this tutorial, we will provide some websites where you can search for browser options on your own. However, most of the time, you will be searching for specific options using Google rather than referring to the official documentation. Within the scope of this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to use five of the most commonly used browser options. Let's begin with the Start Maximize option, which will open the browser in maximized mode, displaying the browser window in full screen size. Currently, when we run the Open Google Chrome Browser method, the browser window appears small, which could impact future UI tests that we'll create. To change this behavior, we need to add the following line of code. Chrome options options equals new Chrome options. In the future videos, we'll cover basic Java concepts, but for now, this tutorial is designed as a step-by-step -step guide, allowing you to perform basic tasks without prior knowledge of Java. We need to import it into our class, just like we did before. Hover the cursor over Chrome Options and import the class, or select it and press Alt plus Enter. Once the class is imported, we need to add the Options parameter to the Chrome Driver instance. Simply enter the word Options within the round brackets. Next, we need to add the Start Maximized option. It is important to place this line of code above the web driver code, otherwise it won't work. The final code should look like this. Let's run the code by clicking on the play icon near the Open Google Chrome method name. The Google Chrome browser will start in maximize mode, thanks to the browser options we applied. Now let's explore the next option, Window Size. This option allows us to launch the browser with an initial window size based on the specific parameters. To apply this option, we don't need to perform as many actions as before. We can simply add this line of code above the web driver line. By setting the window size to 500 on 500, it will be clearly visible that the option is applied. However, there is a small issue. Both the Start Maximized option and the Window Size option are related to how the browser window will be displayed after launch. To handle this, we need to command out the Start Maximized option. It's a straightforward process. We just need to add two slashes at the start of the 14th line of code. By commanding out this line of code, it will be greed out, indicating that it will be ignored when the code is run. Now let's run the code by clicking to play button and we can see that the browser window opens in a square shape with a specified size. This can be useful for responsive web design testing. Let's move on to the next browser option. The lang option is used to set the language of the browser. It allows us to simulate users from different regions by adjusting the browser's language accordingly. You need to place the line of code with the lang option above the web driver line. In this case, we have used the S country code for Spain, so the browser will open in the Spanish language. 
Let's run the code by clicking the play button. After running the code, the browser window will open and it might appear to be in English. However, if you check the info banner at the top of the screen, you will notice that the message is in Spanish, indicating that the language preference is working. Additionally, the options menu of Google Chrome will also be displayed in Spanish. The reason why the Google page is still displayed in English is that Google Chrome has other ways to set language preferences. In such cases, we might encounter limitations that need to be addressed. To force the Google page to open in Spanish, we can either enter a specific URL or open a window in incognito mode, which will explode in a few minutes. However, when we change the website in our code to Facebook and run the method again, we can see that the Facebook website is indeed opened in Spanish. This suggests that different websites may handle language preferences differently, and we might need to find specific solutions for each case. Let's move on to the next browser option, the incognito option. As the name suggests, this option will open the browser in incognito or private browsing mode. In this mode, the browser will not store cookies, history or any other data after the session is closed. To apply this option, we need to add it above the WebDriver code. Additionally, this time we change the language to French. Now when we click the play button, it will run the method and will observe two things. The browser window will open in incognito mode and the Google website will be displayed in French. The incognito mode is extremely useful when you want to start a fresh, private browsing session for your automated tests, ensuring that no data from previous sessions interferes with the current test run. Now, let's explore one more browser option, the headless option. This option will run the browser in the background without displaying a graphical user interface. It's commonly used for automated testing or web scraping tasks where rendering the GUI is not necessary. To check it, add the line of code above the WebDriver code and then run the open Google Chrome browser method. This time, you won't see the browser window as the headless option hides the graphical interface. Instead, you will only see the result of running the code in console. Headless mode is particularly useful when you run automation testing on remote web servers, which improves efficiency and resource utilization. Let's explore the last one, the bonus browser option, how to disable the Chrome is being controlled by automated test software message. Previously, it was a browser option, but now you can't easily remove this message. To disable it, you need to add two lengthy lines of code. In the end, your code should look like this. Don't forget to command out the headless option. Otherwise, you won't see anything when you click the play icon. This time, when the Chrome browser window is opened, you won't see the info message, which can be important for some UI test cases. That concludes our discussion on applying five basic browser options to the Google Chrome browser. The final code will be available in the lecture materials and on our website testing101.net. In the next lecture, we will learn how to apply browser options to the Mozilla Firefox browser. Hope to see you there!